All right, so I am going to throw a mini doll jar. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, I've got a lump of clay here on the wheel. I had a really big lump about this big to start with, but I finished let's see four dolls and their heads so far. This is what I've got left. I think I've got probably enough left to make one more doll. Maybe an extra head, just in case one of them goes horribly wrong. Okay, so I'm throwing this in two pieces. I'm going to center a small lump of clay up at the top right now. This is going to be the body of the doll. See my masterful wheel throwing technique here. I'm so good. get all the water out of there so it doesn't get all nasty and soggy down on the inside. Really need a sponge on a stick, Laura. Okay. So now I will figure out what shape I want my doll and I kind of just go based on what I've thrown already the day, that day. Um, I like to try to vary it. They shapes much like people have lots of different body types. And variety is nice. Let's make this one chubby and cute. Give it a nice belly. Alright, so now I'm going to Close this up. That'll be the neck. And we don't want that top to be too sharp because the head is going to rest on there. We want a nice sturdy ledge for the head to sit on. I'm going to smooth that out. Oh, all right. That's a new shape. I like that. Got my metal rib here. I'm going to just smooth things out a bit. And now I'll add a foot so that my doll is nice and stable and doesn't fall over. I do not want to make weevil wobbles. Well, I do want to make weevil wobbles, actually. I don't want them to fall down. I've had some mini doll jar mishaps in the past. Black haired doll, if you've looked at the image on my Kickstarter, a picture of the two dolls. Yeah, black haired doll is no more. She has ceased to be. She is an ex doll. She fell off a pedestal and her head exploded when it hit the ground. That was fun. Now we make much more stable dolls. At least that's the intent. Alright, let's cut this sucker off of here. And now I will throw the head. I make the heads out of what is called a closed form. It's just like making that vase, but instead of just thinning the neck at the top, I close it completely, um, trapping air inside. It's one of my favorite things to do. 
I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. It's a very versatile form. Make a little, throw a little bulb on the wheel. You can make just about anything out of it. Little sculptures, or you know, people make birdhouses out of them. French salt shakers. But I have learned that they make really great heads for my dolls. Nice little light bulb shapes. Thrown with porcelain tends to get a little wobbly. It's kind of like thrown with stiff butter. <laughs> the more water I add, it's like it's melting and it just. starts to give me issues. But I love it because it's so pretty. And it feels nice. And it gives me nice bright colors on a good back white background. I like it. Okay, so let me bulb that out. Oh, getting a little wobble there. I think my walls are getting a bit thin. We might lose this one. Close the top. Alright. Yep. This one is gone. Oh well. That happens. Try one more time. See? Good thing I had that little bit of extra clay, huh? And they still might have enough to make two heads here. They don't take much. Maybe not. I might be a little over ambitious. Smooth this bad boy out, make it into a head shape. Sometimes I make them really round, like bobbleheads, like my girls in the picture. Sometimes I like to make them other shapes, tall ovals or lumpy bumpy kind of things. I'm just going to go for a regular spear on this one. Moving it out. I don't really keep these little feet on the heads. It just gives me an extra bit of clay to turn into my neck later, which I will show you tomorrow. It's all so fascinating. 
kind of is. I love doing this. Okay, so let me move that out of there, and then I will show you oh, my finished bit. So, there we have it. Two new jars. Woohoo!